I had a random reading for cancer. Um, I forgot you cancer. I had a wrong message. So yeah, we'll just pull some cards. We'll just mix loads of shepherd cards together. So we'll just pull them, see what we get, and then we'll read what I see. We'll clarify. So I'll just let them fly out. Right, okay, so cancer, clarify your wants So your first one is abundance and forgiveness. So maybe you're blocking abundance by the needing to forgive somebody or something. So what's happened that you need to forgive someone? Somebody could have left and moved away, left you, made you feel like kind of abandoned shit. <laughs> yeah. Let's clarify that to cancel. Someone moved away, maybe. Yeah, somebody had choices, somebody chose and moved away to something different. fortune kind of has moved so this person moved away maybe they thought they were going to something better maybe there were illusions and lies that come out and maybe this person thought they're getting a victory they may have ended up working on their own there they may have ended up being on their own because he's on his own he's not your own one um the next one is mother wife sister daughter and peace so have you been arguing with family members because of this or was it your wife that moved away from you? Could have been a wife. Let's see what this one says. Is this something... Um, might not have been a partner. It could have been a family member. It could have been a child. Um, is this what has happened like over and over and over again? With that... Like, that's an ancient ruin, so it's something maybe that has always happened. Like it's gone on in the family. But no. So there's someone, you, it's a partner, I feel, because there's a player here. So maybe this has gone on for a very long time. It's not just like, you need to find peace with this, though, can't you? Because there's a burden. It's a burden to you, it's a burden to your family, it's probably a burden to your child, maybe you've got a daughter who picks up on all of this, picks up on your, your needing to find peace. Yeah, it needs to be the end of this cycle. You need to, you need to kind of show her, like, um, again in my head, you need to show someone that your daughter, that you don't have to put up with this in a relationship. Okay, so we've got passion and trust. Yeah, um, 
I think you need to share with people. I feel like you maybe you you, you wimp out every time not wimp out, but you let this person back and you, you don't share with people, so they just feel they can do what they like. Yeah, judgment. It could be a Scorpio you're dealing with, doesn't have to be. Yeah, this person they just it's all about like all about their wand. <laughs> they go out and have one night stands here, there. Do what they please, leave you up over night time in your head, not being able to sleep, going over the same thing over and over and over again. And you have faith that I don't even know, someone hopefully somebody doesn't think by getting pregnant that they keep somebody to be going. Just makes the situation worse because you've got faith and fertility there. So maybe in your in your mind you feel like if you had another child, but did it happen with the first person? Child no. Yeah, got monk and nun, that's faith again. I mean, that's definitely a fertility card. So you truly believe that if you can keep this person, maybe by child. Yeah, you've been looking at what your ship's coming in. Um, not your ship's coming in, you've been looking at what you've accumulated, what you've got with this person. You may even not even be speaking to this person, maybe because of this third party situation. But it's like they take this blessing for granted, they're smug about it. It's like, well, you know, that person's already mine. And there could be an empress involved, there could be a pregnancy involved, cancer, with somebody who could be quite late stage of pregnancy. Maybe somebody's had an ending with that person because they're pregnant. And maybe they had to make a choice between lovers. But one of the, this, this person or the people they went towards, it was one night stand energy, it was never meant to be anything more. And maybe you're, you're sensing maybe that pregnancy. Okay, you're on the right path for freedom. Same move away, same you need to. Maybe it was fate that this person got this person pregnant, so they moved away from you, so they left you alone. Yeah, we're all involved. You can't keep fighting with this person over and over again. It's right that you move away from them. They're cold with you anyway, I feel. I feel this person could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but yeah. They come back, they don't offer you love. They, it's the same thing. Maybe they come back to the stability. Maybe you're very, you earn good money. You look after this person. But they, they breadcrumb you. And there is no healing there. And there is no choosing. This person doesn't ever choose anybody. Doesn't choose you, chooses themselves. Okay, I've got the right and scribe again. So maybe you're maybe you're all right, and maybe you can scribe. Maybe you need to write down what you've you know what this person does, what they bring. And maybe in that comes your miracle, because maybe you'll see them what this person does bring and what they don't bring, what you put in this and what they do. Maybe it's a miracle comes out of that. Why well, have we got this right and scribe and miracle? Yeah, you see this already, Cancer. You already see it. You've already, you already know how to make this balance. I feel like you maybe have been doing this for a long time. Let's just change up the cards. you just guarded, you're constantly feeling guarded, like you have to guard yourself, guard your money, guard everything. And then you've got prayer and insecurity. Maybe you're praying it, wanting to this to work, feeling really insecure. But it's this person that's making you insecure, it's their actions, it's not, it's not your fault, it's not your... Yeah, you need to trust in yourself and what you know. And then you've got the high priestess as well. You already know this knowledge, you know what this person does, you know that they'll come back, they'll probably speak to you like crap, keep you blindfolded, keep you in a position where you, you can't move forward. Yeah, they're probably going to call you soon as well, maybe a message coming in from your soulmate, because you believe this person is your soulmate. Okay. 
they're constantly out looking, searching for other people, searching for new things, things to keep them excited, things to keep them going, you know. And they don't care about this world being blown up on your side. They don't see that, you know, could be an earth sign, but you could just be getting a message coming in of stability. This person wants your, likes your money. And they have choices all the time. They know that, that, that you're they your soul mate. They know that you cry, you get upset, you fit, you're up all night over them. And that means that they get to come back. You need to be around animals, maybe get your healing that way. And you need to be persistent and not letting them back. Because that's how they get to you, they get back in. And then you let them back in, you forgive, forget, and then they do it again. And I bet this has been repeated over and over again. Got a knight here, Jay. You need to protect yourself. You need to be protect your your, your feelings, protect your because this person doesn't seem to <laughs> seem to care whether they hurt you or not. Yeah, they just want one night stands. They're going out behind you, but having one night stands, doing what they please. Could be a Leo, could be with a Leo, but maybe you just need to find your son. Yeah, maybe you need to find your spirituality as well. But build yourself back up again. It's on a higher level of commitment. You're probably married to this person. You've got family with this person. They rely on that though. Yeah, it keeps you down there. They're watching you as you as you're going into a depression and on like where they like to keep you in a certain place because then they can do as they please. This person is cold as well. They could be older than you. Yeah. They like to keep you on your own, working on your own stuff, up in the clouds, so you don't see what's really going on. Like they've got a mask on, so they're acting when they're out there they're acting, but when they come back to you they come back with sorry and I love you and you look after me, yeah. You need to walk away. You need to walk away from this person. It could be an Aries you need to walk away from. Because all they want is your abundance. They want your money. You keep them stable. Yeah, five of earth. That's leaving, being left out in the cold. Could be an earth sign involved. Could be an Aries. An Aries. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. That could be who they're with. Um, but yeah, it could also be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Someone's going to bring down this tower, though. That's you, so maybe you're seeing that. Maybe you're seeing this person, the other person. Maybe you know the other person, but there's a tower coming down on you. There'll be passionate messages coming in. Maybe you find passionate messages of love to someone else. Someone else says someone... Maybe they're telling someone else that they're their soulmate, that they're going to move away, going to have greener grasses. So, and you're finding this out, maybe. But, yeah, this person's a burden to you. You may get messages from this fire sign about how they're, how they're confused on their choices, what they're doing. They didn't know that if you loved them, maybe you went cold on them because of what they're doing. Maybe you had lots of patience with this person. Maybe you need to heal yourself though, Cancer. Have a transformation and move this stuff around. Um, let's just do a couple of tarot cards. I feel like you need to be, be strong and move away from this situation. Definitely don't have a child. Okay, so the first card we've got is hope. A positive, harmonious time in, is in this message. Positive thoughts create positive vibrations. A new life of good health are gifts from the gods. New opportunities appear. You may be able to assist others to move forward. Your personality shines brightly. Share it. And then you've got the retreat card. A tendency to cut others out of your life may result in loneliness and feeling of abandonment. This card is, lo is of loss and isolation. You may hear of a bereavement. No man is an island. Ask advice and make new friends. Mix socially and join new groups or clubs. The last one is... This card asks you to be open to good advice, to stick to your principles. That which is hidden will be revealed. 
do your homework or research carefully, seek knowledge and listen to your thoughts, seek higher guidance to help clear your mind. Okay, go, Anyway, I'm going to leave it with you. Lots of love and light. Take care. Bye-bye.